Hello, what is up guys? Today we're doing a video on options for uh, creating a bootable USB stick in 2021, 2022. Uh, modern methods of making a bootable USB um, on Windows. Although, uh, if you're using Ventoid, this will apply to Mac and Linux too, because it's cross-platform. Alright, so getting right into it. Uh, if we're creating a bootable uh, USB to install Windows with, uh, for example, Windows 10, Windows uh, 11, uh, we can use, uh, we have the choice of using Microsoft's uh, create installation media method. So say for example we wanted to uh, create a Windows 10 uh, a bootable USB, we could go to the download Windows 10 page. This also applies to Windows 11 as well, you can use the exact same tool for Windows 11. Uh, we can go to download Windows 10 and we can download the tool, hit save, and we can save it somewhere, start it up, and then once it loads up uh, it will ask us to uh, accept the license agreement and create our bootable USB. And you can see we can uh, click through the uh, license agreement. Then we can click on uh, Create Installation Media, hit Next. Uh, we can use the recommended settings or you can untick this and use the options uh, at your own will. Hit Next again, select USB flash drive, hit Next, and then you can plug your USB into your computer and refresh. And you can select your USB there, hit Next, and it will install it onto your USB drive. So that covers how to do it with the official Microsoft tools. Uh, but if you want to use uh, another tool, for example, Rufus, uh, you can use Rufus to create bootable USB sticks uh, for Windows, uh, Linux installers. You can create uh, basically any sort of bootable ISO file uh, into a bootable USB. So you want to go to this page, I'll have the links in the description, and you can download the uh, this version here, or the portable version, uh, and then you want to run it. So I'm going to download this here, hit save, I'm going to download it to my downloads folder, and run it. I'm going to say I don't want to check for updates at this time. And you can see it's already uh, selected my uh, USB stick here. Uh, then what we can do is we can go through these options. We can uh, create, like, for example, if you wanted to create a free DOS one, we can do that. Uh, but if we just want to create one from an ISO file, have this option, select. I'm going to go to where I've got all my ISOs saved. And yeah, for example, I want to create a Windows 11 uh, bootable USB. I can select the Windows 11 ISO file. We can choose all our options here. Uh, go through all these options. You can choose anything you want, uh, or you can just leave it default. And then you can press start and it will write it to the USB, and then you can boot from it just like you would uh, with the official Microsoft one. And this also works for Linux as well. For example, we can go here and say I want to create a void Linux bootable USB. I can do that there, and now I can create uh, a Linux one instead. So that's how you use Rufus to create a bootable USB stick. And the final method I'm going to show you is using Ventoy, which is my favorite method as of recent. Uh, you can uh, go to the Ventoy website, ventoy.net. I'll have the link in the description. Go to Downloads. And wait for it to load, and uh, we can choose the the one for all whatever platform we're on. For example, I'm on Windows, so I'll download this one here, and I'll scroll down, get the Windows zip file, uh, hit open. So you open it with uh, whatever archiving program you use, and I will just extract it to the desktop, and then open the Ventoy folder, and you want to open up Ventoy to disk. And once that's open, it will automatically detect your USB drives in this list here. And you can see it will say uh, the version of Ventoy which uh, you can install, and then the version which is already installed on your USB stick. Now what Ventoy allows you to do, Ventoy is a fantastic um, program. It will install a uh, Ventoy onto the uh, bootable USB stick, and then it will create a special partition where you can drag and drop um, all the ISO files you want to be able to boot from uh, on Ventoy, so you can boot from multiple different uh, ISO files all off the same USB at the same time, uh, to whichever one you want. So I'm just going to install this onto my USB stick, and it will just do that real quick. And you'll say, congratulations, Ventoy has been installed and successfully onto the device. You can hit OK, and now it will say that we've got 1.0.6.2, which is the version which I've just installed onto there. And you'll see uh, in Windows Explorer, we will have Ventoy. We have a Ventoy partition. Now in this Ventoy partition here, we can put any of the um, uh, ISOs we want to install on there. So I can copy and paste. Say I want to, I want to put my uh, Ubuntu ISOs on there. I can copy and paste uh, Ubuntu onto there. I can go to Void Linux. I can have some Void Linux ISOs on there. And say I want to put uh, Windows 11 on there as well. I can do that. And I can copy and paste all of these ISO files uh, onto um, the Ventoy USB, and then when I reboot my computer, um, I'll be able to choose from the list. 
So I'll just wait for these to copy over and then I will restart my computer and show you how you actually boot from a USB stick. All right, so I'm just restarting my computer now just so uh, I can show you. Uh, when you reboot your PC, there's likely you'll get an option. Uh, I'll point it out for you uh, on the screen. Uh, my button is F12. I, uh, it's F12 on my computer to open the boot options. I'll show you when it comes up as the PC boots. You can see down there at the bottom, F12 for boot menu. You hit F12 and it will uh, show you all the bootable devices on your PC. So you can see mine. I've got my Windows boot manager, which is obviously my uh, where I've got Windows installed. And I've also got uh, the USB. This is the USB which I put a Ventoy onto. You want to hit enter. And you'll have uh, Ventoy appear, and it will show you all of the different ISO files which you dragged and dropped and copied onto your USB. So you can see I've got my two Ubuntu ones, my Void Linux, and my Windows 11 uh, installer there. So yeah, uh, that's, how you, uh, that's how you boot up onto a bootable USB. Uh, obviously, it might be a different key on your motherboard um, to press to open your boot options. You might even have to go into the BIOS, uh, but you'll be able to find it in your motherboard manual uh, or your computer's manual if you bought a laptop, for example. And it's the same It's the same method for booting in uh, a USB, whether you're using uh, Rufus, Ventoy, uh, or another method. All right. Thank you for watching this video. If this helped you, uh, please leave a like, uh, comment uh, if you have any thoughts. Uh, if you want to see more content like this and um, you don't mind, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell if you want to get notified when I upload a new video. Uh, and yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.